sampling keyboards, digital synths, and electronics have all brought a veritable orchestra to your fingertips. Steve Martin is a keen amateur musician trying to break into the professional world. But it's one thing making up your own tunes and quite another writing for somebody else. The rhythm is set because of the pulsing action of the light. You know, look, if you've got the handle here, yeah. you're going boom, 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 you know, all the time while... Doug Lear runs a magic lantern show using equipment and slides from the Victorian times. I remember the dissolving as well, the continuous movement. Mm -hmm. So the sound needs to be uh, sort of flowing through all the time. It's got to have rhythm. I mean, He wants like a piece of music to go with a special sequence of slides. Finding out what the pictures are and how the client wants the music to work with them is the most important and difficult thing that Steve has to do. ...with the pattern and the other side. One's clockwise and the other's anti-clockwise, isn't it? So that you have a vortex. And that means that your eye is pulling and pulsing to that rhythm. So the music somehow has got to give a movement. It's got to swell because, you know, we're bringing the light up and down. You get the idea? Mm -hmm. Back in the studio, the creative work starts. First, a rhythm track. The drums are digital recordings of real drums. And this is a digital recording of a real voice. Add a bass track. And after some adjustment, a line of melody. Steve gradually builds up the piece of music, playing each part onto a multi-track tape recorder. And then eight tracks later, this is the result. free copy of the BBC Micro Synthesizer program listing, send a stamped address envelope to Science in Action, BBC Villiers House, London W5 2PA.